Good morning. It is, what day is it? March the 28th, sorry. Um, I uh, didn't go to work today. Um, I had a bit of a vestibular episode as well as a hen's night that I ended up drinking just a little bit too much. Um, you know, knowing that was going to be my last hurrah. I wasn't doing any of my normal protocols. Normally when I drink um, rum and cokes, I'm really, really good at drinking water. But wine was all that was on the offer. And therefore, I, I had at least six wine six glasses of wine and there was two different wines on offer and a rosé and a porchetta I think and then we went somewhere I did drink a little bit of a power ride right in between I've had at least 500 mils of power ride if not a liter I don't think I've finished it I have no idea sorry um, and then we went, so that was at around 1.30 to 1.30 to like 4.30. I had about six wines. And then we went to somebody's house and it took about half an hour to get there. And it was around another six or so sangrias, which is like another wine with some Malibu, they said. But I don't know if they put more. Um, look, I even still have mascara under my eye from two nights ago and I've showered and washed my face a couple times um good mascara obviously <laughs> um but yeah needless to say by uh I was determined I was going into town determined I was going into town and we got to the door of the place that we were going to um, there was three of us in the car. Um, my friend wanted to go home, but I kept saying, no, we're going to town. You told me you wanted to go to town. We're going to town. But uh, I don't know if it was a drive or what. Anyways, I ended up getting sick, which sucked. So I was like, that's it. I'm out. I'm done going home. We stopped off to try to get something to eat eat because I hadn't eaten heaps. I've eaten a little bit but not lots. I wasn't hungry but couldn't get out of that driveway. Uh, apparently I was there for probably about half an hour getting sick. This is the, this will be the, this is by far the worst time I've ever had in ever drinking and yeah, this is only the third time that I've ever got sick, but this is definitely my worst time. Um, normally I get sick and I bounce back up. So, no, I got sick there. And then I came home. Apparently I even fell asleep on the couch. I don't remember. Well, I don't know if I actually fell asleep. I have no idea. Anyways, I made sure the door was left open and I got sick again. So between the space of like 9.30 and... Um, or around roughly around 10 o'clock to 11 I got sick like multiple times um anyways I took an anti-nausea pill before I got sick the last time and then I had to take another anti-nausea pill and I took some Neuromol which is Penadol and Ibuprofen I don't even know what Penadol would be like at home so I can't tell you it's a paracetamol anyways so I went to bed. I woke up in the middle of the night and everything was really spinning. So I felt like, I don't know if it was a mixture of the drinking and the getting sick. I have cleaned my ears a couple times in the last few weeks. So I don't know what it was. Sometimes, um, apparently even the forcefulness of the head going forward or whatever can bring on a vertigo attack. So I'm pretty sure I had a bit of a vertigo attack that started in the middle of the night. And then, um, yesterday morning, my friend wanted to go to the mall. I really didn't want to go after I had a shower, but I went, I, again, barely ate. 
every time I ate, I felt like sick. I was really tired, but for some reason I couldn't sleep. Um, and I felt really unbalanced like I did when I had my vertical attack. So I've never had that before when I normally the next day after I feel really groggy and really tired, but I don't feel, um, I don't normally feel really weak and I don't really feel like unstable. Like I walked around the mall a little bit, but I felt like I kept holding on to things a little bit and I was literally walking like a turtle and I kept saying to her, I need to go home. Um, and even after I got home, I did have a little bit of a sleep, but, um, I was on the phone a lot yesterday. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, and anytime I did get up again, I could not like, I couldn't walk very fast. I felt like people were talking to me and they were like almost talking through me, like, I was registering what they were saying, but it wasn't sinking in. Like, it was just a really odd sensation. So at around 6.30 last night, I was just like, nah, I'm not going to be able to go to work because any time I even eat, which I wasn't even eating much, if I did eat, I felt sick. So I'm going to eat something now just to see, but definitely feel a lot better this morning. I did take another vertical pill before bed last night. Um... So yeah, that was quite eventful. I felt really nice in my white dress. Um, hopefully, most of you are friends with me on Facebook. I know there's a couple of people that aren't friends with me on Facebook that watch this who I don't actually know who you are. So it doesn't matter. But those of you who are friends and family with me on Facebook, you will have seen photos of the night. I took some videos as well, but I didn't get up dancing or anything, so there weren't videos of me, and I just gave those to the people they pertain to so that they could decide whether or not they wanted to put them up on Facebook. Um, in regards to my thyroid, I had my third thyroid test, um, and I got a message in the night saying that it was all good. And then I got a message yesterday, yes, Saturday, saying that my level was actually 1.4, which is really good. It's normal. It was all good. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, I asked them how long I needed to be on the medicine for, and they said, at least until I conceive, and then they'll check my levels monthly after that. So today is my day one. So I just called in with that. Um, but unfortunately, they're, because of red light, they're only allowed to do four IUIs a week. And IUIs are in high demand at the moment. Um, and therefore, I miss out this month. But I am scheduled in for next month's period. So I'm not sure whether or not I'm just going to call with my day I think I'm just going to call with my day one and it's going to start. So that is around the 21st, 22nd, which is my friend's wedding. So it looks like everything will go at the end of April and hopefully the beginning of May, I will be pregnant. Fingers crossed very hopeful that because I've got my thyroid under control, it is going to make all the difference in the world. And I am going to try to see if I can use all the sperm, even though that means that I wouldn't be able to have a second baby, but I am also going to be that much older. So by the time I had baby, I'm already going to be 42. I would wait at least a year, if not two. Like I just can't have a baby at 44 or 45. And if I do, I would look into it I don't want to hold on to it for that long um yeah I don't want to hold on to it for that long and I know they don't do IUIs uh, I don't know how old is the cutoff but I definitely would be close to that cutoff and I don't want pressure to have another one I know if I have a boy it will be hard I would love a boy 100% don't get me wrong but I've always wanted my little girl, so 
if I had a boy, I wouldn't a hundred percent to feel like I don't think I would, but it could all change. Like you just never know. Anyways, enough of that. I have no idea. But I am so hopeful that because my thyroid and there is supposed to be nothing wrong with me, that maybe, just maybe, I might finally get a positive. Anyways, obviously, I have avoided COVID. Don't ask me how. Knock on wood. I've literally been surrounded for it, for it. Two of, three of my good friends had it in the last week. My flatmate has been going out right, left and center. And she hasn't got it. I haven't got it. Like, I don't actually understand how this is happening. Um, I'm sure she's hung out with people who aren't got their needles, but no idea. And I don't know how many people yesterday at the hens party that I hang out with when they've had their needles. So we'll just have to end up seeing what happens somewhere down the line. Um, I have a feeling that's why we did the hens party at somebody's house because then there was none of the issues that you need to have vaccine passes or anything, which does leave New Zealand uh, this coming weekend, I think. No one needs to have vaccine passes anymore. Anyways, the other drama that is going on at home, because it's always home, my brother was out playing basketball with my niece. Well, or he went to pick them up her and her two friends or something anyways one of them asked him to play a little bit of basketball and he gave in and he broke his femur but he broke his femur really high in the place where his hip is and he took the hip socket off or something weird don't ask me it's not common for a 44 year old to do this, but whatever. So apparently it's so bad they can't even cast it, he thinks. So he's just gonna be on crutches. Don't know how long recovery takes. He did have his first rehab today, which is pretty cool, but it's his left leg, not his right leg, which is good because that does mean that he might be able to drive sooner. Um, because he's right handed, right, whatever, right handed, right legged. Anyway, so that was the big drama because I was half drunk by the time I got reception to then get a message from my mom who was beside herself. Um, so yeah, um, luckily, Kelsey Nicole, my favorite, most beautiful cousin of the world, saved my life again. Yes, a package will come to you soon, Kelsey. I just need to organize it, okay? I do, and I need to get your address. But um, she and my uncle called as well, which was great. Um, but Kelsey went to see her right away, and because we got cleared of bed bugs as well, which is great, mom started to slowly put away stuff. She's doing it mostly on her own, which is really frustrating. Um, and now there's no way that she's going to get help. Um, so Kelsey kind of went to check up and make sure she was all right, which, you know, she was pretty upset, um, is very upset. Um, and she helped her put away some things. And my mom's exact words was she was a godsend. So really thankful for her and being able to do this for me. She's helped me out a lot with my mom's recovery and just getting my mom money when she needs it. Like I send her money and then she gives it to my mom. So she has been like such a blessing to have. I mean, she's always been a blessing, obviously. She's always been like the little sister I never had. So hopefully you're not feeling too if you even watch this, Kelsey, hopefully you're not feeling too uh, embarrassed. But you know I love you. So, anyways, that's my little shout out to my cousin <laughs> for all her help. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, so I just talked to my brother. He was in a lot of pain. Apparently he had a migraine yesterday, but they couldn't give him any more medication because they had already given him enough. So that was bad. He did just have his first rehab today. So he literally was some an excruciating pain. I felt like he was breathing through contractions is what I call it when you're in that much pain. Yeah, it's hard to hear him like that. So I didn't stay on the phone for very long. Um, But he hasn't been able to have a cigarette in a couple of days. So that's good. And he actually says that he's surprisingly not really felt too bad about that. So, who knows? I mean, how would amazing would it be? I mean, I don't know how many more my mom's up to. Hopefully, she's still on five, but who knows? Um, but yeah, that's pretty good, pretty darn good. Um, so yes, yeah, so that is the events that are happening in my life right now, and I will let you go because I actually need to call my mom and try to sort out her bills for the end of the month um yeah but have a good evening and oh I will say I have done an update on the whole devotions in the Lent it looks like I missed Saturday which was so annoying because I knew in the morning and I thought I went to do it in the morning because I knew I wasn't going to be around in the evening. But obviously I didn't. So I missed Saturday. So I've missed one day so far out of like, I don't know, 20 days. So not doing too bad. Um, hoping to get it better. Um, and hoping to get a little bit more deeper. Um it's not as much as I wanted it to be. Some of them have been really good, but, um, yeah, I've got some, uh, what is it called? Something media, music, medium, music, media works, not media works. I don't know. I have something from my church that would then make it so that I can, um, uh, I have access to something from my church to be able to go online and there's devotions and there's books I could read and there's um there might even be like little podcasts and stuff so so that's cool so yeah I have that so I'm gonna look into that ASAP anyways have a good evening um and I will talk to you again when everything happens bye